if you're like me, that epic season 7 finale has you completely pumped for season 8 to just get here already. Well, I'm going to do the next best thing and talk about the show. You can probably guess from the title that this video will have spoilers and graphic violence. You raped my sister. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it now and we can make this quick. Not a huge character, but he received so much attention in season 4 that it just felt certain his character had destiny passed there. Technically he did, just without him alive. His backstory is very reminiscent of Inigo Montoya from The Princess Bride, a man dedicated to revenge for wrongdoings done to his cherished loved ones. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Perhaps the most shocking thing about his death is that he won the fight, but because of his search for revenge he got cocky and the mountain's brute strength brought Oberyn to a bloody end. You've got an overdeveloped sense of vengeance. It's going to get you into trouble someday. Say it! Elia Martel! Smash your head! Get like this! Kneel. Kneel before your king. Kneel. Certainly not disappointed to see the death of a character as lovely as Joffrey, but it was a surprise to see him go so early on, since for a nice chunk of the series, he could probably be described as the main antagonist. I could watch him die all day. On my honor as a Tully, on my honor as a Stark, let him go, or I will cut your wife's throat. I'll find another. This is kind of cheating, since it's the death of a lot of people, and two of them major. But how do you separate the deaths here? It was all one massive twist where we first see the brutal death of Rob Stark's unborn child, then the death of almost every other Stark in the room, including Rob and Caitlyn. True Game of Thrones style massacre. Man says he saw your uncle at hard on the last full moon. Could be lying. Could be. No ways to find out. Where is he? Over there. When one of the main characters dies, you take notice. With so much of season 5 built around developing Jon Snow, having him die suddenly without any real direction or point to his arc was both shocking and disappointing. After season 7, we're still waiting to see what the point of his death really was. So long as I am your king, Treason shall never go unpunished. Sir Illyn, bring me his head. It seems like nothing now, but back when season one first aired, the idea of seeing the man who was for all intents and purposes the main protagonist get brutally beheaded right before the end of the first season was shocking. It set the stage for the rest of the series, leaving the audience constantly unsure who would die next. Those were the five most shocking Game of Thrones deaths for me. What was the most shocking death for you? And also share what you'd like my next list video to be. You thought that Joffrey had to survive. He ain't in the credits for season five. I'm still going strong. He's still going strong. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 